Yo, what is up ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Dasky here with another Crash of Cars gameplay. Now if you didn't know, the new Crash of Cars update just came out and let me tell you, it is absolutely crazy. It is so good. Now as you can already see on the right side of the screen, there's a new game mode added to the game and it's for private matches. Now this is where you can vest your friends privately and play against them without others joining your game. Now I'll be hosting some private matches and if you want to join, be sure to follow me on Instagram because I'll be telling everyone when I'll be hosting the private matches on my Instagram account. Now if you want to be part of the private matches, be sure to go over to my Instagram and follow me right now. I'll leave the link in the top of the description so that you can find me. Now if we go back to the game, there's been a new map added to the game called Mike and it's what I was showing you videos of previously on my channels from the sneak peek on the Crash of Cars Facebook page. Now this map is so fun to play with, it's probably the most fun I've had playing a map so far. It's a really good map, it's nice in size and there's a train track throughout the middle of the map that you need to constantly be avoiding the trains otherwise you'll take damage. I think this is pretty fun but what's the most fun in this new update has to be the new epic forklift car. Now I'll go ahead and click upcoming cars and we can see there are two new upcoming cars. There's a horizon which we can get, I assume from playing the prize machine I'm not too sure I didn't click that. But what we're paying attention to is the epic forklift on the right side of the map. This explodes a super barrel on the first collision and it's for 200 gems. Now let me tell you, this super barrel is so powerful. It is so fun to just go ahead and smash enemies with. So I'll go ahead and we can see the silhouette of the forklift and we can see on the front of the vehicle is the oil barrel that explodes on the first collision. So as I just said before, it's an upcoming car and it's for 200 gems. But we have the option to buy it now, so I'm going to go ahead and buy it now for 200 gems. Yes, I will. And there we go. We get 20 prestige level points to go to our level. And now we can just see it spinning around. Now look at that thing, it looks pretty dangerous already. But wait until you see it in game. As you already saw at the start of my video, this thing destroys everyone in its path on the first explosion. So we'll go ahead and we can see the private match is the new option at the bottom of the map choice menu. And you can either join a private match or create a private match for your friends to join. But nonetheless, we'll just jump straight into the mine map. So here we go, we're on mine now, just driving straight down here and we'll go ahead and pick up our first crown. So as you just saw, we drove outside of the cave and you will notice that a lot more when you drive in and out of the cave, it disappears from different perspectives, which I thought is pretty cool. You can drive undercover. So now I'm driving on the train track, which I was saying before, and you wanna watch out for this area when the trains are coming. Always keep an eye on the train lights, that way it'll notify you when the train is coming so you can get off the train track or go in between the middle of the two tracks so that way you can avoid taking damage from the train. So I'll teleport here but quickly slam the brakes on so I don't fall into the water. And we've got the mines now and we see two guys driving into one corner and that is how you do it. And that is why they call me King Dasky. The king in the north! <laughs> No, not the king of the north, but the king of crash of cars. This forklift is so powerful, it will destroy whoever you're next to on that first collision. So now I'll just try and get away from these enemies, that way I can activate my power up. And here we go, just avoid the tank and the missile, drive away from the landmines and we'll pick up another crown. Now a smart place to play on this map is around the train track area because of the high traffic and the trains constantly hitting players and they will be destroyed so you can pick up their crowns. But it's also a very dangerous spot because you can also take damage. Now I've got my health pack so I'll just activate them and pick them up and I'll just activate the rail gun but I didn't get any kills. Now I managed to dodge those front cannons, pick up a few more crowns and especially on the train track where I say there's always crowns spawning. So now I drive around here, but unfortunately I was hit by one of the cannons. But nonetheless, I got 36 crowns. 
and as you just saw that front barrel is so powerful on the first explosion now I've got quite a few games with the forklift so if you want to see more be sure to smash that like button and be sure to comment down below in the comment section telling me which car in the game do you want the most that you don't currently have and this can include old cars and all the new cars including the forklift and if you're new be sure to subscribe because I'll be posting a lot more crasher cars content and for now Dasky out